so here we're going to discuss a random experiment random experiment are possibilities which we can explore in various experiments for example here you can see the first experiment is toss one coin so when we toss one coin there are two chances either head or tail because one coin has two uh, faces one face is head and one face is tail so when you toss a coin you can get either head or tail on the upper surface of the coin so this is called sample space and the, these two are total possibility when you toss one coin same way if you toss two coin together or one coin two times then what are the possibilities so these are the possibilities which is called random experiment that is head 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 tail tail head and tail tail so total number of uh, possibilities in this case are four if you toss three coin or one coin three times then sample space would be head 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 tail uh, head head tail head tail head tail head 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 tail 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 head tail 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 head and all three may give you tail tail so these are eight possibilities eight outcomes you you may have when you toss three coins together or one coin three times in both the cases whether you toss one coin three times or you can toss three coins together uh, for example this head 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 indicates all three uh, all three coins and all three times it appears to be head on the upper face then head head, head uh, tail uh, indicates that when we toss three coins together we will get head head in first two coin and third coin will give us tail or you can say if you toss one coin three times so in first two attempt we are getting head and in third attempt we are getting tail so total possibilities are eight in case of three times or tossing one coin three times then next experiment we can do with the dice if you have one unbased die and if you throw the dice we know dice dice is in uh, is a cube which has six surfaces and each surface has one number from one to six so when you roll a dice there are total six possibility which may appear on the upper surface of the die from any number from one to six so if you roll a dice these are possible outcomes which you may get that is any number from one to six so total possibilities are there six that is called sample space also if we roll two dice together then we can have 36 possibilities first possibility which we can have that is 1 1 what is mean by 1 1 in one bracket we wrote two numbers that is 1 and 1 this 1 and 1 indicates that both uh, upper faces of both the dies are showing 1 then we can have 1 2 this 1 2 indicates that first dice uh, in first dice we're getting one in second dice we're getting two then uh, in first we can get one in second we can get three one four one five till one six then next possibility is two one means first dice may appear uh, in first dice two may appear 
in first second dash one may appear so that is two one and this may go up to two six same way we can have up to six six so this way we can have total 36 possibilities when we roll two dice together then next sample space a card is drawn from a pack of bearing numbers from 1 to 25 here we have some cards are 25 cards and we wrote 1 to 25 numbers on those cards if we pick one card randomly so there are 25 chances to get one card we may get a card with number 1 or number 2 number 3 till number 25 any card we can draw from the pack of 25 cards so total possibilities are there 25 suppose you, if you have a pack of 20 cards bearing number 1 to 20 so you will have 20 possibilities to get one card from it if you have 50 cards so uh, if you draw one card randomly from that pack of 50 cards so you will have 50 chances to pick one card any number from 1 to 50 then a card drawn from well shuffle next is seven experiment a card is drawn from well shuffle pack of 52 playing cards 52 playing cards here we are talking about poker uh, which we used to play uh, in gambling in poker so there, uh, there is a structure i'll show you that structure how this 52 card can be divided uh, this is pack of 52 card all 52 cards can be bifurcated or can be categorized in two color first is red color and second is black color so you will get 26 red color card and 26 black color card on the basis of color these 52 cards are divided as 26 red card 26 black cards further these 26 red cards can be divided into two uh, different type of card one is called heart card and the other one is called diamond card and each of these two type will be of 13 cards so you will have 13 heart card and 13 diamond card and both are red in color same way in in black color cards you will get 13 club card and 13 spade card so this way total 52 cards are divided into four groups first one is heart second category is diamond third category is club fourth category is sped uh, diamond and heart are red uh, club and uh, sped are black so this way 13 into 4 will give you 52 cards now each of these set uh, set means heart diamond club sped so these four set will consist of same uh, same type of card so in each set of 13 card you will get one ace card uh, this is ace card which is on your screen these are four ace card one from uh, uh, spade one from diamond one from uh, uh, this is from heart this is uh, club and this is diamond so these are four ace card from each set of 13 cards so in each 13 you will get one diamond card three picture card uh, king queen jack so you will have total 12 picture card in 
all uh, in the entire 52 pack and you will have number card number cards uh, will start from 2 to 10 so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you will get nine number card in each set so total 36 number cards are there out of which nine belongs to heart nine belongs to diamond nine belongs to club nine belongs to spit so in a pack of 52 card you will get 36 number card four uh, ace card and 12 picture card in each set you will get three picture card so this is all about pack of 52 playing cards hope it is clear to everybody If you uh, toss one coin and one die simultaneously, then what are the possibility or what are the possible outcome that is called sample space or total number of uh, possibilities and outcomes is called sample space. And this is the way to write your sample space. Capital S in curly bracket, you will write down or you will explore all the possibilities. So, when I'll toss a coin, it is possible that I'll get head on the coin, on the upper surface of the coin, and I could get one in the dice. So this is first possibility, head in the coin and one in the dice. Second possibility which we can explore by tossing one coin and throwing one dice could be head and two. We can get head in the coin and two on the dice. Third one is head and Three. Same way we can have another uh, sample head and four, head and five, head and six in the dice. Further we can have tail in the coin, one in the dice. T, 2, T, T stands for tell, T4 and T5 and T6. That's all. So these are all possibilities which we can have when we toss one coin and one die together or simultaneously. So this is called sample space. Number of sample points means number of possibilities. So here we have total 12 outcomes. So number of sample space is 12. And this is uh, a required solution for this particular question. Let us take another question. Two digit number are formed using a digit two two digit number are formed using digits two, three, and five without repeating a digit. That is our question. So we will copy this question. Uh, this is our question number two.
क्वेश्चन से टू डिजिट नंबर ऑफ फॉर्म यूजिंग डिजिट टू थ्री फाइव विदाउट रिपीटिंग अ डिजिट In this case, we need to find out sample space in number of sample point. So sample space can be two digit number. Here we are talking about two digit number. Two digit number can be any number from ten to ninety nine. All the numbers are two digit number. Using digit, but here we need to use two. Three and five without repeating a digit. This is condition. So we are going to form two-digit number by using these three numbers. So we, here we can make two three can be first digit. Twenty three is two-digit number. Then we can take twenty uh, five. Uh, 25 is another. Look, even we can uh, we can make 22. 22 is also a two-digit number. But why we are not taking 22? According to given question, question says without repeating a digit. Uh, if I'll take 22, so in that case, what will happen? Two will repeat twice. and that is not allowed for this particular question if this word without repeating a digit is not given in our question then we we have to take 22 in sample space because 22 is also a two digit number which can be made uh, by using 235 uh, we can take two two times if it is not mentioned without repeating the digit so remember Uh, this word without repeating or with repeating, and if question is silent, doesn't spoke about whether repeating or not repeating. In in that case, we will take twenty two in sample space. So here we we will make twenty five, and then we can make twenty thirty uh, two also. Then we can make thirty three, but we cannot do for uh, we cannot make thirty three for this particular question. Because there three three will repeat twice. Then we can take thirty five. After uh, then after thirty five, yes, fifty two and fifty three. That's all. So this is our sample space: twenty three, twenty five, thirty two, thirty five, fifty two, fifty three. so these are possibilities we, which we can have as two digit number by using 2 3 5 as digits now here number of sample space 6 so total possibility is 6 so number of sample space is also 6 next question the arrow is rotated and it tops randomly on the disk find out on which color it may stop uh this is our second question there is a wheel on this wheel we have certain cards 